So I'm just wrapping up the install on this auto meter replacement bezel that allows you to run two gauges. I just want to share this video just in case anyone else is interested in installing this stuff. So for the fitment, it's actually really good. They did a nice job at designing this bezel. No issues. So where these bolts go to are these um, small little brackets. Um, on one end of the bracket goes to like a factory um, cluster bolt. And then on the other end, um, you use the supplied bolts. Yeah, good fitment. Uh, for the gauges, uh, they're actually press fit. So you don't need the studs that are on the back of the gauges. And if you leave the studs, they'll hit that OEM cluster in the back right here. So before you install the gauges, just cut the studs off to make your life easier. And then this oil pressure gauge is pretty sweet. Um, hold that button down for a couple seconds. Then it allows you to choose a spec oil pressure for the low oil pressure warning light. So on the so anything below 20 PSI, that light will glow red. Super useful if you're worried about oil starvation for aggressive driving on a racetrack or at a drag strip or heck, even on the canyons. And then for the fuse block, I use these fuse taps to go into the radio fuse for the oil pressure gauge and then for the illumination uh, backlights uh, tapped into the illumination there we go illumination fuse on the fuse block so they work with the factory dash lights so yeah next I'll show you how I ran the thermal couple and wiring through the firewall if you pull your wheel liner back that gives you access to this spot right here. So then what I did was I drilled the 7 8 hole for the grommet right there in between that large rectangle connector and that OEM cable in the back there. And then the thermal couple got it running through here. Put some heat wrap on it, ran it between the wheel pan and the transmission, and threaded it into the Canton Racing oil pan. And then for the oil pressure harness, it's that corrugated stuff. Went through the square hole, kind of ran it through the engine bay, away from the header, and then uh Hooked it up to this stainless steel nipple and T. I've used brass before, especially the brass nipples, and I've had those crack. So I recommend stainless steel nipples. And this is a quarter inch MPT nipple and T. And there's the OEM pressure switch. <laughs> 